Grandpa Newby reporting for duty. Now, every once in a while, some of you will kindly suggest a configuration to me. And let me let you know that I try out each and every one of the configurations. I've made a video on one before. This is the second time I'm going to make a video on one. And I can't necessarily make a video on every or even most of the configurations that get suggested to me. But I want to let you know that I do try each and every one of them. This one came from a user named Casey Cameron. And you can see the the note that Casey sent me and here's the configuration let's go through it real quick it's an M4 and we'll start with the demo D50 buffer tube and that helps significantly with the handling and the mobility section um, crouch movement speed is the biggest green and I don't really use crouch movement speed but that's that's good just in case but the ADS speed is improved by 12% and the sprint to fire by 16% and those are things that grandpa really likes in keeping with my theme on high recoil the gun kick is up 106% and 35% each for the horizontal and the vertical recoil now I got a note from one of the viewers out out there that he thinks that I'm using some sort of aftermarket steroids to keep my recoil down. But each and every one of you who've been watching the videos knows that I think there's a conspiracy out there to take away the recoil when you're shooting the weapon at an enemy. Because the recoil that I see on the page, the recoil that I see in the shooting range is not the same recoil that I see when I'm shooting at an enemy. Now, if I'm just standing still pulling the trigger, I see the recoil. So that's due to maybe one of three things. A, I'm imagining it. B, the recoil and EOMM changes based on the skill of the player. Or three, the recoil decreases when you're pulling the trigger when you're out there on the field of honor. Who knows? All right, accuracy is impacted a bit. Flinch resistance is down 29%. So let's take a look at some of the other. Now, you see, he said the new suppressor and the new underbarrel grip. So I assume he means the quartermaster suppressor, and you can see that that handles some of the recoil. And it doesn't help at 106% with the, with the kick, but it, it does get it under control a little bit. The ADS speed is impacted as well as sprint to fire, but both of them are okay for a assault rifle and while we're talking about assault rifle let's take a look at the damage 37 in the head 34 everywhere else that means against a fully healthy enemy it's a five shot kill that with the effective range reaches out there to 24 and a half meters so pretty strong the rate of fire is 810 rounds per minute almost 811 so quick math tells you that you're going to have under a 300 millisecond time to kill on a five shot kill because the first shot if you're in the right range is going to be a hit scan the paracord grip now i really like this grip it's all green no red and it significantly helps the horizontal recoil and sprint to fire speed and improves the ads movement speed to 3.2 meters per second and the movement speed to 5.1 one meters per second none of the mobility statistics are anything to have a party over but they're okay for an assault rifle nothing special the 7.5 inch tempest firebrand barrel and that helps slightly with mobility and handling it impacts recoil and range so all these are composite numbers there are the result of every attachment that i've hung off of this weapon or that casey has recommended and finally casey said the 45 or 60 round mag i understood casey to mean the 60 round mag so my bad but in any case you can see it significantly impacts handling if you go with the 45 round mag and it impacts it somewhat less i went with a 60 because i like carrying a lot of firepower in to free for all and that's where i'm going to play this weapon is in free for all and remember that grandpa always says the configuration of your weapon might change and the weapon that you choose might change based on the mode free for all team death match maybe a longer mode It'll change based on the map. It'll change based on what the enemy's doing and your play style. That's why no one configuration, in Grandpa's opinion, fits every situation. So this is high recoil. Let's take this weapon into the shooting range and see what the recoil looks like. First of all, I'm not going to control it. I'm going to hip fire. Straight up and strongly to the right. Now... Aim down sight, no control of the recoil. Straight up, straight up, 
Straight up. That's kind of strange. So maybe the, it'll be a lot easier to control because it's going straight up when you aim down sight. So that's something to keep in mind. The hip fire is not all that accurate at distance. So maybe you better be aiming down sight anywhere, let's say 15 meters and closer to get a feel for how this is different from my ideal configuration for most situations on the smaller maps that I play. Here's my ideal configuration that I start with. Now I may modify it significantly. I have several M4 configurations saved in my armory based on what's happening in the game and it's based on the Jack Harbinger kit. I'll just let you have a look at the rest of the attachments. So I'll compare these two as we get ready to fight. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's take the Casey Cameron M4 configuration onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. Before we get too deep into it, let's have a look and compare the configuration with the newbie config and the Casey config. Red is good for the newbie config. Green is good for the Casey config. So you can see the most significant thing is the damage range. But look at the damage itself headshot upper torso lower torso and upper legs is 100 for the newbie config fire rate though is 229 percent greater for the casey config it's a completely different weapon essentially and you can see that the time to kill on a fully healthy enemy is 21 percent better but remember it's only out to 12 plus meters with a newbie config 21% 244 milliseconds is a very fast time to kill. 296 for the Casey config is not bad. You can see that recoil is significantly better for the Casey config, and you'd expect that going out 24 meters, 24, 25 meters versus 12, 13 meters. When you look at conformant, uh, conformance, huh, performance, the ADS is significantly better for the Casey config, as is crouch movement speed. But Grandpa, you know, he doesn't count the hairs on his toes that often. I'll, I'll let you have a look and see uh, those, at those numbers there. So let's get into it. And the first map I get, got onto was Invasion. And I thought if ever there was a map that uh, might be good for the Casey config, it would be Invasion because the sights are a bit longer. The one thing about Invasion is I've never been on one where we've gotten all the way to 30 kills because you have your Muppets, you have your snipers uh, hanging out at the edges. It's just not a map that's conducive, in my opinion, to playing free-for-all, but it is for this weapon, so let's take a look at that. So th thus far, we're two minutes into it. G Grandpa only has one GAC, and you know the... the the good fire rate is effective up close, so the Casey configuration is almost like a AR distance and SMG. There we go. Let's see if we can get the rest of this guy. There we go. Oh, crossfire doesn't count. The it's almost like an SMG with an AR type stats. Oh, we got a Muppet. The Muppet is Elvis, a racer man, Elvis. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Oh, there's a somebody Muppeting. And he gacks Grandpa with a stalker. I don't know why he needs a stalker without a stalk on it. What was that? Oh, Grandpa got carded. Nice shot. So Grandpa's falling pretty far behind, and he hasn't given this weapon a fair shot at things yet. So he's going to see if he can find some of these Muppets or people moving slow. He gets Elvis, which is always good. You reel in the number one player by one that way. And it's still early enough in the game that this free for all could turn around on a dime. Where was that? That guy that was camped, he's not there anymore. Just make sure, throw out elite uh, tactical. The weapon actually feels good in this configuration. You can see that the, that the recoil just isn't there. Now, as I said, somebody 
Uh, let's see if we can get that guy. That's going to be a test of the recoil. And there he is. We got him. Somebody said that I'm using something. In other words, aftermarket steroids to control the recoil. I'm absolutely not. I think a lot of you know that if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've what I've been talking about. There's a little jump shot. Talking about the lack of recoil when I'm engaged with an enemy. I talked about it earlier in this video. Look at there. The weapon puts out bullets pretty quickly. I'm not afraid to go face to face with somebody and maybe we, the next map is going to be a face to face map. This one this is a CDL map, but still it's not one of my favorites simply because people do tend to muppetize in it. So Grandpa's now in second place here. The weapon is doing fine. This is actually my first time touching it now. I don't know what I just got killed with, but it definitely got me. Grandpa bought the farm. What I think is interesting, these people that can run twice as fast once I start shooting them. Yeah, he left Grandpa a present. And then here he comes with his car. Grandpa got carted again. Look at that guy. One. Woo! Two. So three minutes left. Somebody's at 16. There's a chance it'll go to 30, but I just didn't get the feeling that it would. Weapon's doing good up close. You saw it do good at distance. So overall, it's a solid configuration. I'm a little hesitant to say it's going to work on maybe a shorter map for you. For Hey, thanks for running past me. You just open yourself up. And the guy you're going to gack, and we're back within four with two minutes remaining. And make that five. You can see the recoil is just not there. Either that or it's easily controllable. And you recall that the hip fire recoil for this configuration went up and to the, was it to the left? Yeah. But the ADS recoil was something completely different. It pretty much went straight up. Yeah, put out some place mats for the guests. Welcome mats. There's somebody shooting through there. Ah, oh, he's going to lay down. Come on, get up. Grandpa lays down to change out his magazine. I him sniffing my toes there. Don't generally do that, but I'm not going to move so fast on this map because... You move right out to where people are. All right, we got us a... Oh, that guy's looking through the window for me. And he's Elvis. I can't believe Elvis could get that easily outplayed. But maybe this is GG's for Grandpa. A great place to put it. You're looking down two main lanes there. Three main lanes. Somebody's trying to annoy it. Put out another welcome mat. 30 seconds left in the game, and it's tied. Doesn't get much more exciting than this. 30 seconds remain. So it's going to be a disappointing non-Snickers win for somebody because nobody's going to get to 30 points with 20 seconds left. Ooh, let's take a look at that one. Oh, my word. Ten seconds left, and uh, the turret does some work and gets another gack. I don't see anybody catching Grandpa. Not a Snickers win, but the weapon performed well. Now, the only other place I want to check Casey's configuration is in a in-your-face kind of map. Somebody was talking there. I wanted to hear what he had to say, but no insults, so it was boring. I like it when people get peace. So we're going to give this weapon another chance, this configuration. And Das House, the disgusting alien guts, and I always wait. Uh, I always wait for the after the bell rings because someone's going to bulldog me. I know that. And there's a blitz, a, a blitz in Das House. 
Oh, there's a Muppet. So it doesn't start too good, but we'll see. I want to get some tight engagements with this. You can go from tight to medium distance to long distance on this map, actually, if you shoot down the lanes. Gak Delvis there. Yeah, it, 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 the weapon feels smooth. It just feels ultra smooth. The M4 was the favorite weapon for a lot of people in MW2. It wasn't strong enough at the beginning of MW3, but with a few buffs, it's a reasonable weapon. I like it in the Jack configuration and that lady skewered grandpa. Lady with the fishnet. Ho, oh, skewer grandpa with a thermal. Hey, have fun with that team. And you can see up close, it did well on a shootout with a guy with an SMG. There's fishnet. We're just going to keep pulling the trigger because we have 60 rounds. Tell them I love them with a Renetti. So yeah, I, I can recommend Casey. It's a good configuration. I'm I'm feeling the love here about a halfway through this free for all. This Das House is absolutely a bloodbath. It always is, and then it's set within the aliens' guts. So whatever aliens eat or drink, that's what I'm smelling right now. Pretty disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Tied up. Tight up, not tied. Tight up. This weapon passes the test. Let's see if we can chase that. That guy's fast. A little wall bang action on him. I think this weapon's going to work. I've got a slot for it in my armor. There was an obligatory knifer, and there's a secondary knifer who got Grandpa. In other games, if they're good at knifing, they're probably good at shooting, too. But not on this title. Comes secondary knifer. Enemy UAV active. Available. Yeah, this weapon's pretty much farming these guys. That lady in the fishnet was tweaking back there, but she got me. Oh, obligatory knifer. We will go back and find that person. Oh. Shooting it, there he is. And they're not knifing. There comes. Oh, was that a third knifer? Or just secondary knifer? Anyway, the weapon is doing great. It is just absolutely doing good up close. It's doing good at medium range. It goes, they're doing good at distance. Somebody, we got the fish nibbling. Grandpa's back there. Just need one more gack. And I think, uh, I think the mosquito drone did its trick. There's a Snickers win. The weapon's awesome. You ought to try Casey's configuration. Thank you so much for that one. It's an outstanding one. Give Graham boom. Everybody send me more. And I, may, I will try them all out. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Peace. Let me know if you use Casey's configuration, how it did for you.